Hello and welcome to the Mail Myself to You program video. If we haven't met yet, I'm Miss Lisa and I work at the Voiceville Public Library. Have you ever wanted to mail yourself to someone you care about? In this past year, we haven't been able to see some of the people we really care about as much as we would have liked. Sometimes I wanted to send myself to friends and family. It would be really dangerous, however, to actually mail yourself so please never climb in a mailbox. Today, I'm gonna to share something with you so that you can share part of you with someone you care about. So let's read this book. What's it called? Mail Myself to You. Written by singer-songwriter Woody Guthrie, illustrated by Vera Rosenberry, and this book's owned by Mrs. Brown. This book started out as a song that Woody Guthrie wrote for his own kids back in 1962. That was 59 years ago. Phew. So let's read this book. I'm going to wrap myself in paper. I'm going to damn myself with glue. Stick some stamps on top of my head. I'm going to mail myself to you. I'm going to tie me up in red string. I'm going to tie blue ribbons too. Look at all those ribbons. Wow. I'm going to climb up into my mailbox. I'm going to mail myself to you. So now you know what it's about. I'll sing you the tune that goes with the words and then the rest of the verses too. We can add motions if you like. Okay, now I'm going to sing it, all right? And there are lots of versions of this on YouTube if you want to watch it, listen to it. I'm gonna wrap myself in paper. I'm gonna dab myself in glue. Stick some stamps on top of my head. I'm gonna mail myself to you. I'm gonna tie me up in a red string. I'm gonna tie blue ribbons too. I'm going to climb up into my mailbox. I'm going to mail myself to you. Here's the rest. When you find me in your mailbox, cut the string and let me out. Wash the glue off of my fingers. Stick some bubble gum in my mouth. Take me out of my wrapping paper. Wash the stamps off, off my head. Oops, not the hand. Pour me full some ice cream soda. Tuck me into a nice warm bed. I'm gonna wrap myself in paper. I'm gonna dab myself with glue. I'm stick some stamps on top of my head. I'm gonna mail myself to you. All right. So now, the part that you've been waiting for, how you can mail yourself to someone you care about. Hmm. As you see here, I've colored and decorated the paper the paper person to look a bit like me. What do you think? <laughs> Here I added some long brown hair because I have long brown hair. I also added glasses because I wear glasses. I've colored a sh purple shirt and uh, dark pink pants and blue shoes. Yeah. And then we have glasses, which I already mentioned, some earrings and a necklace. You can add things like a belt, a scarf, a bracelet, uh, special shoes, glitter, yarn for hair, whatever you want. Okay. So when you're all done, oh, I forgot to add this part. Remember the words, stick some stamps on top of my head. So that's what this is. And you get a stamp that you can decorate too. When you're all done making your paper person look like you, please ask a grown-up to take a picture of you with the paper you that you made and send it to us at the library because we'd love to see it. And next, you, you can either do two things. You can fold up the paper into two times from the top and the bottom so that it's in three parts. But then it'll fit nicely in the bag like this. Or you can leave it because it pretty much fits, which is good. So, what were the words of the song? Wrap myself in paper, 
dab myself in glue. Okay, we have some paper. So I'm gonna fold it up again and then fold the paper around me. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Hmm. I'm gonna wrap it up in red string. We get red and white today. So I'm gonna tie it in a bow. All right, I'll show you. And I'm gonna tie blue ribbons too. That's how the song goes. I'm going to mail myself to you. <laughs> All right. Then comes to me the most, the best and most important part, deciding who gets to find you, this you, in their mailbox, inside the envelope, of course. It could be someone who lives far away or someone who lives down the street. You get to decide where this you gets mailed. And whomever gets to find your paper you in their mailbox will be so happy to see you and will feel great that you were kind enough to think about them too. They might even send you a picture of themselves with the paper you. Wouldn't that be fun? So after you decide whom to send yourself to, you're going to need their name and address. And then you'll write their name and address here. And your name and address is the return address. And then the stamp will go up here in the corner, or two stamps. We'll give you some stamps. Okay. And then, depending on how much stuff you put on this paper, you, it would be a good idea to make sure you have enough stamps on it. So take it to the post office and get it weighed just to make sure there's enough postage, the stamps on it, to send it through the mail and not get sent back to you, okay? So have you thought about who you might send yourself to? I think I will mail myself to my mom because she lives a few hours away from here and I don't see her very much. I think she'd like that. This has been fun to share with you. For those who register for the program, you can pick up your take and make bag starting on May 24th and ending on May 29th at the side door of the library during the hours that we're open. Enjoy mailing yourself to someone you care about. Goodbye.